What's up guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Brilliant. This is part 3 of the if statement series. Now if you haven't seen part 1 and 2 of this series, I would advise you go watch those videos first as they will help you understand what's going on in this video. With that said, let's get started. In the last video, we looked at the else function and explained what the else function is and how it works. We also looked at an example that checked if the car color was red and if it was a sunny day. Basically, the LF function is like the else function, but if you have many conditions. In programming, we use the else function as the last solution and use the LF function if we have many conditions. Let me explain. So in my text editor, I have a Python file open and in here, let's create a program that checks if the car is blue. So I'm going to create a variable called car color and I'm going to set it to blue. Then I'm going to create an if statement that says if car color is equal to blue, don't forget the colon, print you have a blue car. Now let's create another condition using the lf function. So I'm going to move on to another line and I'm going to type lf car color is equal to green, print you have a green car. Then I'm going to create another lf function and this time I'm going to type lf car color is equal to red, print you have a red car. Now you can keep going as long as you use the lf function. Then down here I'm going to create an else function and a print statement that says um, let's say your car color is not in my system. Now let me explain what's going on. Up here we have a variable and we called it car color and we set it to blue. Then under the variable we created an if statement that checks if the car color is blue. If the car color is blue we print you have a blue car. And if this condition is false, we'll check another condition. And we do this by using the lf function. We could have used the else function, but we have many conditions. That's why we use the lf function. And we only use the else function when every condition is false. That's why we use the lf function. Now back to our code. We are going to check another condition if the car is green. And if it is, we print you have a green car. Then we're going to check another condition if the car color is red and if it is we print you have a red car now if all of these conditions are false we would run the else function which would print your car color is not in my system now you can have as many conditions as you want but for the purposes of this video i have a few let's run the program to find out what will happen down here it prints out you have a blue car let's change the variable from blue to green now when we run the program it's going to print out you have a green car and if the variable was set to red it would print you have a red car i'm not going to do that because we all know what will happen so i'm going to skip that part let's set the variable to something like black now when we run the program it's going to print i don't have that color in my system so that's the basics of using the lf function let's move on to another example let me quickly remove this okay this time we're going to have our program check if it's a male and if that person is tall. Okay, we're going to start off by creating a variable called isMale and for now I'm going to set it to true. Then we're going to create another variable and we're going to call it isTall and for now we're going to set it to true as well. Then we're going to create an if statement that says if isMale and isTall, don't forget the colon, print you are a tall male. Then we're going to create an elif function that says elif male and not is tall. Is tall has to be in brackets. Print you are a short male. Then we're going to create another elif function that says elif not is male and is tall. Print you are a tall male. And is male has to be in brackets. Then we're going to create an else function. Then I'm going to say print you are either not male or not tall or both. Now when we run the program, down here is going to print you are a tall male. And if we come up here and change is tall to false, now when we run the program, it's going to print you are a short male. And if we were to come back up here and set both of these variables to false, now when we run the program, it's going to print you are either not male or not tall or both. And hopefully that helps you wrap your head around how the LF function works and what it is. This was the last video of the if statement series. I hope you enjoyed it or learned something. If you have any constructive criticism or any questions or anything, comment it below. Consider giving this video a like and clicking on the subscribe button. 
turn on post notifications to be the first to know when I post a new video. Until next time, my name is Brilliant. Thanks for watching. Peace.